We hear a lot about rotator cuff muscles these days, and if you're interested in the anatomy, um, I recommend looking it up on the net, but basically there are four rotator cuff muscles, and their combined strength is the major fraction of the strength of the shoulder joint. Now what we're going to show you with this stick series is a way of both stretching and strengthening these muscles, and not only that, not in just the ordinary positions which you, we might think of as being like this, external rotation and internal rotation, but rather in space completely. So let me show you what we're talking about. I'm going to hold the stick like this and turn it over like this. Now notice I'm going to try and maintain my elbow angle at about 90 degrees. That seems to give the best of the effects. And then I'll work the other hand as high up the stick as I can comfortably. And then watch this. By pulling the stick towards you like this, and I'll just turn away so that you can see what's happening. By pulling the top of the stick, you can see that the arm here is being rotated internally in the shoulder joint quite strongly. I can do a contraction here by trying to pull the arm back to the start position. I stop, I take a breath in, I recheck the elbow angle and then slowly take the stick further like this. Now watch, the beauty of using a stick like this is that this action can be done anywhere in the range of the shoulder's movement like this. So we can explore this complex movement called circumduction in the shoulder, and this is the internal rotation dimension. We can get an external rotation just by reversing the stick. See how the stick is on the back of my forearm now? Well, watch this. Take the top of the arm back. This is the kind of flexibility you need in the shoulder for throwing movements. I'll do a contraction here. I'm going to pull the top hand towards you as you're looking at it, and I'll just turn away while we're doing this. Pull, stop, take a breath in, and watch gently take the arm further back. And this movement here also can be explored in all sorts of complex shoulder positions, shoulder and arm positions, as you can see, all the way around. Now, anytime you find something that's a bit tight or you feel you want to explore a bit more strength in the position, let's say, for example, here, do a contraction, re-stretch, hold. Take the arm into new positions, so explore all of those positions. The beauty of the stick, and this can be done with a partner too to help if you're not quite flexible enough to get into the starting position, of course, but the beauty of using a stick to explore these ranges of movement is that any tender spot or any sore spot can be explored at length, in detail, and you can strengthen the range of movement in exactly that point as well. I, I can't recommend these things too highly. David is going to demonstrate the use of a short stick as a, shol a shoulder mobilization technique. Now just watch this. You extend the stick out to the front and then turn it over like this. And you take the stick in the turning hand to the inside of the other arm like so. And then you take the other hand around the outside of the arm like this. Now you can see if you look carefully we've actually made a loop and then watch this. There's a number of different things that can be done in this position. Move the stick around, twist, turn, anything at all in order to get movement in the shoulder girdle itself. And then, watch this, this is a self-massage technique which is very effective. David's going to loop the stick and his arm over his own head and then turn away from us to show you where the stick is bearing um, on his back. And you'll see there it's right inside the border of the shoulder blade and you'll find some very good places to massage and to press on there. Now just supposing that the person that you're working with is a little bit too stiff to get the stick in position here, you can actually help them get the stick into different positions like this. Now this might be a good space for him on the inside of this shoulder blade now, in which case he uses this hand to basically just pull the stick through the body. And to that you can add slumping movement. So David, if you just slump like this, the slumping movement expose all the thoracic vertebra. So we're only showing you one position here, but if, if I can just show you for a second, David can move this stick all the way down, right down all the erector spiny muscles, all the way down into the lumbar spine, which normally don't respond particularly well to the stick technique, but all the muscles between here and here will feel absolutely fantastic if you work it with the stick. In fact, so what we'll do, just David, if you just take the stick back up again for a second, We'll just show you what that movement looks like from the back. So do the other side, perhaps. There we go. So it, it, the arms are out the front. The left hand is going to go inside the right arm, like so. And we bring the stick to the outside, like so. And then lift it up over your head and neck, like this. 
Now you'll see that the stick has come down and will be bearing on the actual shoulder blade itself or just inside the shoulder blade and then all this area becomes accessible too. Have a play with this. It looks a bit weird but it feels absolutely fantastic. Let's show you what that looks like from the side. Extend the stick like so and then repeat the arm movements that we just described. So one arm turns inside the other arm like this and then the second arm comes to the outside of the first arm like this. And then you can do all the various um, turning movements, but let's just show you the head and stick looping over the head movement like so, beautiful. Now, just watch, by slumping, you can see the shape of the spine curves and that exposes various muscles, in this case, the rhomboids and the paravertebrals, to direct pressure from the stick. And in addition to doing a simple slumping movement like this, you can also slump and turn as David is doing now. Yeah. Just wrap it around yourself like this and have a play with it, literally have a play with it and find out what your body wants today. And let's show you what that looks like in doing the other side as well. So just come out of that, David. And when you're ready, um, just show the arm movements for the other side, please. Left hand goes inside the right and then the stick ends up on the outside of the left arm as you can see. Now you'll have to do a little bit of twisting and slumping and sometimes for, for people who are a bit tight on the shoulders a slightly longer stick can be very helpful too but this stick is 600 millimeters or two feet long and we found that's a, a decent challenge for most people.